four Helios models to choose from. We have the original Helios 2, the Helios 2 Plus, the Helios 2 Wide, and the Helios 2 Ray. Now, while they all look pretty similar with these three actually looking exactly the same, there are some key differences between them. So in this video, we'll go over the similarities and what are those key differences so that you can make a better decision on which model best fits your 3D application. Before we get into the individual differences, let's go over some of the key similarities. All of our Helios 2 models use indirect phase measuring time of flight technology to produce 3D data. They all feature Sony's DepthSense IMX556 PLR TOF sensor. All models are compact, lightweight, have an M12 Gigi port and an M8 GPIO port. All models also provide IP67 dust and water protection and are built to our factory tough standards, which makes them perfect for many industrial applications. For those of you new to the Helios 2 3D camera family, our popular Helios 2 models are used in a variety of industrial applications such as material handling, bin picking, 3D inspection, logistics, and robotics. One important point about each model is that they are complete self-contained units. In other words, the lens and visco laser diodes are integrated into the units and can't be changed as it takes a fair amount of engineering to calibrate all of these components together. So when purchasing a Helios 2 model, know that you just need to get cables and connect them to the Helios 2 to get them started. All models have an 8.3 meter maximum depth distance. In addition, you can manually offset the starting minimum distance for all models. All models also have six distance modes with the Helios 2 Plus being the exception. The Helios 2 Plus has an additional three modes for HDR imaging and three modes for high speed imaging. In terms of filtering controls, you have confidence threshold, which allows you to define what level of reliability a 3D point needs in order to be shown. Spatial filtering, which enhances the edges of an object by smoothing out little bumps and dips in an object's shape and flying pixel filter, where you can define the distance threshold to remove flying pixels. If you want real world examples of these filters, we also have a video called 3D Time of Flight, bin picking presentation with more tips. Links in the description below. Now let's get into the differences. The main differences we're gonna go over are outdoor and indoor use, frame rate, exposure settings, lens field of view, the FOV, power over ethernet, and accuracy and precision specs. The Helios 2, the 2 Plus, and Helios 2 Wide are designed for indoor spaces and cannot operate in sunlight. These models are equipped with 850 nanometer wavelength viscals, which offer superior quantum efficiency with the DepthSense IMX556 sensor. But when used outside in sunlight, the viscals will be washed out and you'll get no 3D data. The Helios 2 Ray, however, is equipped with 940 nanometer wavelength viscals, which allows it to operate in direct sunlight. There's a dip in sunlight spectrum, which allows the 940 nanometer wavelength to be used outdoors. However, 940 nanometer wavelength has a lower quantum efficiency with the depth sense sensor, which reduces the accuracy and precision of the Helios 2 Ray compared to the 2 and 2 Plus. Later on in this video, I will show a comparison chart of the accuracy and precision specs for all models. For exposure settings, all models have three manual exposure settings except the Helios 2 Plus, which has sort of an additional fourth exposure setting, which is the high dynamic range or HDR mode, which combines the best data from each exposure setting to give a more complete 3D point cloud. While each model has its own set of three different exposure times, they facilitate the same functionality, in that you get a short, medium, and long exposure setting. Now, while you can change between these three exposure settings, the specific exposure time length can't be changed. It's basically hard-coded into the camera, and this is again because each exposure setting needs to be specially calibrated for each model's lens and visco properties. For frame rates, all models support 30 frames per second for all distance modes. The major difference comes from the Helios 2 Plus HDR and high speed mode and the Helios 2 Wide's 3000 microsecond exposure setting. Moving on to field of view, the Helios 2, 2 Plus, and Ray all have the same FOV of 69 by 51 degrees. 
The Helios 2 wide, though, stands apart. As the name implies, it's designed to image a much larger area with a field of view of 108 by 78 degrees allowing it to image about four times more than the other models. This is great for users who want to reduce and minimize the amount of 3D cameras needed for an application. There is a trade-off though. Even though the Helios 2 wide is equipped with more powerful visco lasers than the Helios 2 and 2 Plus, we're still imaging a much larger area. The visco laser light is more spread out, reducing the amount of light reflecting off an object and back to the sensor. So in other words, we're going to get reduced accuracy and precision with this model. The Helios 2 and 2 Plus both support power over Ethernet. However, as I previously mentioned with the Helios 2 wide using more powerful class 1 viscals, well, the same is true for the Helios 2 ray. That model also uses more powerful viscals, and you'll need to power those models through the GPIO port. Okay, now let's take a look at the accuracy and precision charts. For accuracy, the Helios 2 and 2 Plus offer the best results. For precision, there is quite a bit of data to show. So to simplify, we're going to take a look at one of the most common distance modes that our customers use, and that's the 5,000 millimeter mode or five meter mode. Ultimately, if you want the cleanest, most precise 3D point cloud, the Helios 2 Plus using HDR mode provides the best 3D data. So what does all this information mean? Well, let's also compare it to model pricing. So if you're looking for the absolute best 3D data and you have an indoor application with controlled lighting, the Helios 2 Plus using the HDR mode is your best choice, priced at 1,745 USD. The regular Helios 2 offers excellent performance, but without HDR and high speed mode for a more cost effective price at 1495. If your application needs to image objects in sunlight or you have a mobile 3D application moving between outdoor and indoor lighting, you'll want to choose the Helios 2 Ray. And finally, if you want to image the maximum area that you can with the fewest amount of 3D cameras, then the Helios 2 Wide is your model. Now, if you want to check out all the details and specifications for each model, I recommend you check out our Helios 2 camera family landing page. It not only lists all the specifications, but we also have other point cloud examples and links to other Helios 2 videos. All right, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Thanks for watching and stay lucid.